Hey guys, my name is Willie the Tech Guy. You know what, I've been using the Oppo Reno 5 for about a month now and it's time for me to give you my thoughts about it. I know some of the other amazing people uh, in the review industry have given out their reviews, so sorry for this late review, but here are my honest opinions on the Oppo Reno 5. But before we dive into my Fantastic 5, let's just talk about the specs that the Oppo Reno 5 packs. So it's a 6.4 inch AMOLED display with uh, it's a full HD plus so it's 1080 by 2400 pixels it's 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 bright uh, with 430 nits of typical brightness goes all the way up to 600 so it's a really vivid AMOLED display you're talking about that 90 hertz smooth scrolling that's what you have in the display it runs on Android 11 with color OS 11.1 uh, running over on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G processor. So we're talking about good performance even for gaming and all your activities. The version that we have here, and uh, ideally is the version that you're gonna get everywhere, is the 8GB, 128GB version. And that has now become a standard for phones in this price range. It has a micro SD card slot, so you're talking about expand, uh, uh, you can expand your storage that's something that's lacking on some of the phones in this price range. And it also has a headphone jack. We're gonna come back to that. When you go over to the camera department, it boasts of a quad camera array. That's a 64 megapixel main camera. We're talking about 64 megapixels. It takes amazing shots. It has an eight megapixel ultra wide, a two megapixel macro and a two megapixel depth. But when you go over into the camera, it has your two X, and your 5x that are cropped from from the main camera it is it is able to give you, you know 4k 30 frames per second when you go over to the video side or 720p at 960 frames per second for all your amazing slow motion for uh, videos selfie camera is amazing you know the reno 4 had a dual punch out selfie camera this one has a single but in this single selfie camera you have 44 megapixels so it takes very amazing selfies even in the dark and uh, the front camera can also take 1080p videos at 30 and 120 frames per second has a loudspeaker has you know your 3.5 mm jack all your amazing things wi-fi 6 uh, bluetooth 5.1 and all these amazing things it also has an under display optical fingerprint scanner. So, you know, your fingerprint scanning is that fast, USB type C and all these things. So these are just the specs that you get with the Oppo Reno 5. But what makes it an amazing phone? So in my month with the Oppo Reno 5, these are the five things that really stood out for me. I call them my fantastic five because of also this amazing, fantastic silver that the Oppo Reno 5 comes in. You know, Let's just talk about design for a minute. If there's one thing that Oppo does and does very well is design. This fantastic silver is, is, is a gradient form of finish and looks very nice. And not only is it amazing in the finish itself, it's also a textured finish. So the feel, I don't know. I love this pl plastic TPU case that they give as a form of extra protection. But let me tell you, oh, how many people... But they tell us in the comment section, how many of you actually use their phones without a case on? Because if I asked, I would use this Oppo Reno 5 without the case for just the texture that's on this fantastic silver. There are two color options. There's fantastic silver and there is starry black. But let me tell you, if you have an opportunity, just go for the fantastic silver. It's super fantastic. So design has to be one of the things I totally love about the Oppo Reno 5. It has this minimalist, it's, it's not heavy, and uh, the camera bump looks very nice. For, for You know, with the way they blend the camera bump with this plastic back makes it look appealing and not uh, repulsive. I like the fact that the bezels are very small and very minimal. So ideally, you have that immersive kind of experience if, when, when you're enjoying the display. The camera cutout is so small and tucked in just right to the top of the left of the camera. So it does not, it does not intrude your, your immersive experience as you're enjoying whatever content you're watching. And because it's a 6.4 inch, the buttons are easy to reach and they also ha happen to be very nice 
and very clickable. So I love the design of this phone. It's something that you know is attractive to the eye. And you know, when you pull out your phone, the next thing the guys will be asking is, what kind of phone is that? Number two in you know my fantastic five is the display. And let me tell you, this is such a beauty. I fell in love with this 6.4 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display. AMOLED LED display gives me all that bl deep blacks. I get to enjoy that color contrast when I'm watching my Netflix, you know, and my YouTube. But also goes all the way up to Full HD Plus. That's 1080 by 2400 pixels. So, you know, you're talking about high definition watching of videos and all that. And it also happens to be a 90 hertz display. And let me tell you, once you get used to high-end refresh rates, you will take that 60 hertz, put it in a casket, and make sure you bury it deep down because fast refresh rate, high refresh rates are something of the present. And, and you know, something that helps you enjoy that smooth scrolling animation when you're scrolling through your social feeds, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, you get to enjoy that scrolling because, you know, it, it give, it, it's pleasant to the eye. It's not sloppy, it's snappy. You know, it's an amazing, amazing experience. Well enjoying and I'm happy that Oppo added this feature to the Reno 5 to make it a 90 Hertz display rate. And not only is it an amazing display because I talked about Netflix. I love the fact that if you bundle the Oppo Reno 5 with the Oppo Enco W31s, oh my, you get to enjoy the sound experience. One thing that I loved, especially because of ColorOS 11, immediately I open my Oppo Enco W31s, they pop up. And let me tell you, this is, you know, synchronization and ecosystem to the next level. And I congrats to you guys over at Oppo. So I love the design. I love the display. I also love the customization. Now, customization in, 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 op, in uh, the Oppo Reno 5 is made possible because of ColorOS 11 over Android 11. And let me tell you, you can really make this phone personal. Ideally, when you buy the phone, it becomes yours. But one of the ways to personalize it is to give, that, give it that feel that you want. And I'm happy because ColorOS has really come a long way and I'm saying a long way because I didn't like it back then but I really love it right now and you know customization we talk, we talk about apps home screen lock screen you know the kind of uh, how you want your apps to appear you want them rounded you want them squeeze circle you want them you know boxed out you can do all this just to give your home screen and your apps the feel that you can and not only is customization in the apps uh, field, but you can also customize the animation for fingerprint. You can customize the animation for charging. You can customize your always on display. These are some of the things that just make the experience of using the Oppo Reno 5 an amazing experience. And you know, and talk about customization, I'm not talking only talking about uh, Color S11. I'm also talking about some of the features that come in, you know, like, like smart spy prevention. These are things that just give that experience and make it come to life. So I really love the display. I really love the, the, the design. I love the customization. But what else do you guys think that I love? I love the camera. Let me tell you. I normally say this, that more megapixels don't always mean better shots and if you guys have followed us for quite some time you ha will have seen that there are cameras that have lesser megapixels but churn out greater photos than cameras with higher megapixels but let me tell you this increase from the 48 which was on the reno 4 to the 64 that's on the reno 5 is worth it and let me tell you you can see it in the in the shots they are more detailed they are more saturated they are more vivid they are more to life and let me tell you this makes you enjoy the camera experience in the Oppo Reno 5. we talked about you said it has a quad camera array at the back 64 megapixel main camera 8 megapixel ultra wide 2 me megapixel uh, depth and 2 megapixel depth and uh, depth and macro camera so those are your four cameras but when you go over into the camera app it, it has your four modes as well it has your ultra wide 
it has your main, it has your uh, 2X and your 5X. And the 2X and 5X are actually changed out from the main camera. But let me tell you, you get to enjoy this versatility when it comes to different ranges. So from ultra wide all the way to 5X, you get to enjoy all of these ranges in this Oppo Reno5. And let me tell you, the ultra wide on this is something to die for. I have enjoyed taking shots on the ultra wide. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm those kind of guys who love taking nature shots and, and all these kinds of amazing uh, natural, natural and nature scenarios. And doing that on the Oppo Reno5 has been an amazing experience for me. So this camera is a camera that is there to die for. And I'm not talking about its ability to churn out great photos, but also its ability to give you great videos. It has 4K, it can shoot 4K at 30 frames per second out of the main camera. So you're talking about high resolution video, but it goes all the way to 720p at 960 frames per second. So you have your 4K 30, but on this other end, you have your 720 at 960 frames per second. So you can shoot high resolution videos and you can also shoot high frame rate videos. And you're talking about very slow mo videos. I enjoy shooting slow mo videos at times. And this 960 frames per second at 720p is amazing. It is really good to use. So you have that wide range of versatility from 4K 30 to 720 at 960 frames per second, you can get to enjoy using and taking videos out of this. And let me tell you, these videos are good in good lit conditions and also good at, at sometimes at night conditions. And these are videos that you will love and even can be used professionally. So if you're also looking for a, for a phone just to buy it because of its camera experience, this Oppo Reno5 has to be one of those amazing videos. And to finish my list of my Fantastic Five, talking about um, design, display, customization, camera. To finish it off, let's talk about battery and charging. Now, it comes with a 4,310 milliampere battery. It's not big by the look of it, but let me tell you, that 4,310 milliampere battery is very capable. I have never really drained it in a day. Have you, Charles? No. So I have had quite a, a very long period of screen on time because of that amazing intelligent battery that, uh, that Oppo has. And not only that, but even if you finish it, you can juice it up really fast. So it gets from zero to, to 100 in about 45 minutes or less. So you're talking about really fast, snappy charging. And this is made possible by Super VOOC technology. It has a 50 watt power brick. And then I talk about brick, I really mean it's a brick that can be thrown and can damage someone. But it's because they plug in a lot of technology and not only is it, a, is it high wattage of charging, but I love the fact that because of VOOC technology, Oppo is able to plug in a lot of security to, to make sure that your phone is not damaged from security in the brick, security in the charging cable, and security in the phone itself to help you enjoy charging. And let me tell you, if there's one thing that I love to see is plug in that thing and just see my numbers go very fast because it, it charges pretty amazing. Now, this is not the kind of phone that you just want to leave on the charger for the whole night. But, I'll say something there. I love what Oppo has done because they have this overnight charging setting that's in your settings. That you can plug that in so that if you're in the night, it's able to regulate how fast it charges through the night to make sure that it does not damage your battery. And, and that's an amazing technology that is actually in Oppo phones. But let me tell you, if your phone can charge from 0 to 100%, in less than 45 minutes then you just wake up in the morning as you get prepared to leave the house plug it in and by the time you're leaving it will be enough battery to last you the whole day so i've loved my experience on this and i'm gonna start to channel some of the amazing photos that i've taken on the oppo reno 5 
on our Instagram page. So make sure you follow us on Instagram. That's Tech and Africa and Willie Professor. Follow us also on Twitter, Facebook, uh, and YouTube. That's Tech and Africa. Let's keep the conversation going. So for some of you who managed to own this device, tell us your honest opinion. Tell us your thoughts. But as for me, I have loved this phone from every angle. Great display, amazing design, and aesthetics. It's appealing, you know, it, 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 it's something that just draws you. Great customization with the apps. An amazing battery and charging. And a camera to die for. These are my top fantastic five for the Oppo Reno 5. That's our review of the Oppo Reno 5. Let's get the conversations going. It's a wrap from us, guys, over at TechEd. Peace out.